in this video how to use Google Maps to quickly and easily get around New York City and not get lost coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle to make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I don't want you to get lost in this amazing city I used to live in. So let me give you some of my best tips around how to use Google Maps. Let's dive in. Let's start with one of my favorite tips in anywhere I travel to with Google Maps, which is downloading the map so you have it offline. Because sometimes, especially in New York City, you'll get out of the subway and you won't really have service yet until you're outside. You do not want to spend any time in this city being lost or looking lost. And so one of the things I do is I always download the Google Maps. And if you're like, how do I do that? Let me just give you a quick example. So you can see where I'm at right now in New York City. And I'm simply going to click on somewhere that's next to me. Oh, I love Little Island. So I'm going to click on something that's near me, Little Island. And then I am going to go to the three dots at the top and I'm gonna click download offline map. And at this point, I have the choice, right? I can just kind of scroll around and choose how much of the map I want to download. And it's showing you at the bottom how much space that will take up on your phone, which is honestly not that much space at all. I want the entire Manhattan area. And so I'm putting the entire thing in there and then I'm clicking download. And so you can choose whether you do it over Wi-Fi or not. I have unlimited data. And so I'm just gonna let it download the map. And what this is gonna allow me to do is even when you don't have service, even if you have airplane mode on, what will happen is that you are still able to see where you are with your blue dot, no matter what. And so that's a really great thing because you can always see on the map without waiting for it to load. And so this map will allow me to see things like street names, but I will be able to see businesses, but not like the hours, the information about the business. I'll see the address, um, but not the details. It's enough that it's very helpful, especially when it comes to navigating, but when it comes to researching, the bar you're gonna go at and drink excessively right after I film this video, it's not helpful for that. I have the map downloaded. So another amazing thing is if I like go into airplane mode and you can still see my blue dot, if I'm to click on the little arrow on the bottom right twice, uh, or once rather, sorry, then I can like do the little turning thing and still figure out where I'm located and which direction my phone is pointing in. And I can still see details, right? Like I can see details like, oh, I love this, this bar. I can see the detail about the bar, but you can see like, I can't go read all the reviews right now and stuff like that. Like it's giving me info, like the address and the name, uh, but I can't see the details. So downloading the map, super helpful. That is step one, no matter where you're traveling, but will re be really helpful for you. So my second favorite tip is around using the direction of traffic, especially when you're coming out of the subway and you don't know which way to start walking. So let's actually go into the subway and we'll give you a real time example of how to do this. Let's go over there. Just kidding. I tried filming this for you in the New York City subway and wow, that sound experience was B-A-D bad. So let's talk about it in my office. Let's pull up this map over here and let me talk you through what I was trying to film for you. So in this example, I'm trying to go from my hotel, which is West House, New York City. Info on that in the description below if you wanna see that hotel, it's pretty nice. And I was trying to get to the E B D train. And so if you're someone who like, ah, like I don't know which way to turn when I'm coming out of my hotel, right? My hotel is located on the north west corner. Uh, so I would be coming out of the hotel and taking a left to walk towards 7th Avenue to go south. And if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what that means. I don't know how to do that. Another way to think about it is using the direction of traffic. So zoom in on this and you can see that the direction of traffic on the street that I'm on, on 55th Street, is going the opposite way I need to walk in. So another way of looking at it is when I step out of the hotel, I need to walk in the opposite direction of traffic to go in the direction I need to go in. And so now that I'm taking a left out of the hotel against traffic, then as I walk towards 7th Avenue, I know I need to take a right. But again, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna just go left or right, let's use a direction of traffic again. So zoom in. 7th Avenue, you can see the direction of traffic goes south. 
And so I need to walk in the direction of traffic this time on 7th Avenue to be able to get to the train. So I'm stepping out of the hotel, I'm walking against traffic, and then once I get to 7th, I'm walking with traffic, and I know if I just keep going straight, I will hit the EBD train, or I know that I should you know, stop and start looking around once I get to 53rd Street. And so that, my friends, is how I'm using the direction of traffic within Google Maps to figure out which direction I need to be going in. Ooh, it's cold out here. It's time to go back inside and start drinking again. One of the things I do not want to have happen to you is you looking lost and you being a target for getting scammed. There are so many scams that I have been, uh, I was gonna say involved with. That's not what I meant. Scammed on? I don't know. Anyway, I don't want scams to happen to you. They've happened to me. Uh, check out my other video. I just finished filming it. Don't be lost. Don't get scammed. Have a fantastic time in this city. Add your tip in the show notes below, especially if you have one around what you're gonna do in New York City, because I'm already planning my next trip. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.